Thank you, Tony. The game has changed a good deal today, yeah. so let us get back. Yes, John. Before Sorry. Jerry Hauer leaves us right. and he's promised to come back, okay. um, all of the discussions we've had raised the question to me, and I know Jerry's been more fully briefed on these national security agencies than in uh, matters than any of us have. How many of these attacks have we known about and been able to prevent? How many that we've heard about? How many that we haven't heard about? And have any of them been on this scale? Uh, uh, that's difficult to answer, John, because a lot of that, um, a lot of that material is classified. A lot of that is kept classified, but. Uh, there clearly are a number of threats that uh, occur in this country uh, almost on a daily basis. Uh, uh, some of them are, are hoaxes, some of them are credible, uh, some of them are quite, quite credible. Um, and uh, the, the spectrum varies. And um, they've, um, they've had, uh, and some we've been very fortunate with, as we were right before the millennium with uh, uh, the uh, the intrusion from Canada. Yeah, the, but that but that was one that was the work of an alert agent. How many have we actually prevented through intelligence, which is is kind of what Mr. Wolsey and Mr. Baker have been talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure anybody has a good number on that. I, uh, that's something that I think that uh, would difficult be difficult uh, to put your finger on at this point. I, you know, and I'd be interesting to get that from the FBI. I'm not sure mm -hmm. that I've ever heard a number on how many we've actually um, uh, thwarted. Um, Have you ever picked up the phone in your emergency management center and had someone on the other end who said we're going to blow up something? Um, we actually did receive a number of threats. What was uh, it like? Um, it? We had um, uh, some letters come in and we turned them over to the FBI. Um, by and large, we uh, felt that uh, the majority of them were hoaxes, mm. uh, but uh, we relied on the FBI for their, um, uh, their intelligence, for their um, uh, analysis mm. of threats. Uh, we relied on the Police Department Intelligence Division, um, and uh, by and large, uh, with the exception of uh, one or two that uh, were a little more credible than others, most of them were pretty um, lame hoaxes. I remember two of those that were quite serious. In, uh, in 94 and 95, uh, when I was with the Police Department, we received information from the FBI that there was going to be a truck bomb attack within 48 hours on the New York Stock Exchange. We responded by surrounding it literally with sanitation sand trucks um, and blocking the street and eventually set up a cordon which has still not come down. The other was uh, a planned attack on the uh, Israeli mission to the United mm -hmm. Nations, uh, which has been surrounded by cement blocks, uh, first ever the since. sand trucks and, and ever since ever again. Since. Uh, our thanks to Jerry Hauer, the former head of the New York Mayor's Office of Emergency Management and Operations. And as we said at the beginning, it's an office which is not operating in the place that Jerry Howard set it up, which was right adjacent uh, to the World Trade Center, and it has been blocked off, put out of commission in one way or another by the horrendous, horrendous uh, devastation which has occurred in that part of town today. And we don't want to lose sight of it for a second in all this discussion about, about intelligence and terrorism.